Cosper World. Welcome back. We're gonna have a quick look at this dagger. Look how realistic and all the awesomeness of that reflection on the blade. Um, if you're interested in seeing the extended version where I go into details of how we make this so realistic, check out FinalCosmicCore.com and how to become a subscriber and get all the awesome content there within. Thanks for your support. At any rate, we are gonna be making a convention legal prop. We're gonna try and make this look as realistic as possible, and for that we're gonna be using medium as a fireboard. Um, the quarter inch is good because it's semi flexible but still rigid enough where you won't have dimpling of the aluminum. The aluminum is kind of the the really key part of making this most realistic. Uh, we're gonna make the base of the sword in its entirety and then we're gonna kind of wait towards the end to where we're at the painting phase to add the aluminum tape. Now if there's one thing I've seen with aluminum tape uh, props is that they kind of get patchy sections. They, they, um, you can clearly see the edges of the lines where the aluminum tape is stuck on. And to make the most realistic effect possible, I would argue to try and hide all of those lines. So in this case, we're gonna have three inch wide aluminum tape so that the edges of the tape are on the edges of the blade where they would naturally where there would naturally be lines. There's no lines on the faces of the blades. Keep that as clean as possible. Keep all the wrinkles out. Keep all the bubbles off. Take your time. Um, use don't cheap out. Don't uh, use the wrinkly bit at the start of the roll. Throw away all the stuff that might have been damaged from sitting around your room or the shop or whatever. Um, it's not going to do you any favors. You're going to put the subpar prop. Um, now, if you have a big, gigantic weapon, they do offer contact contact um, sh uh, paper. It's basically big sheets of reflective <laughs> paper, and you can buy this. Uh, you'll have to look it up, I guess. Um, contact aluminum tape sheets, and you can get those gigantic axes all in one piece. Of course, you'll need to be careful. Um, but if I can emphasize one thing, it's making sure that the surface that you do put your uh, tape on is nice and clean. <sighs> oh well. Next time, we're going to be making a set of warbler armor. This is a fitted armor and it's for a flexible part of the body. It's Misty Knight's armor. Um, I hope you check that out. Good times to all. Hurrah! For the extended version of this tutorial, go to finalcosmicore.com and check out the info there. Thanks for your support.